Okay, in this video, I'm going to we're going to try to look at the gains. Okay, and this I think is going to be our last one for this section. But we might come back to this stuff later. But okay, so let's go ahead and draw what we had before, and then we will um, see what to do with it. Okay, I don't remember the colors. You might be right. And so we had that. Okay, so that's 140. Okay, so that's that outside is called the that's their joint PPF. So right now I'm not going to worry about what they like. So something else. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to think about well how much gain can they get um, from joining together. Okay, so in order to do that I need to um, in order to do that I need to look at their individual. So how do I do this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw their individual PPFs down here at the bottom. Okay, so this one. Okay, so I may again in the notes. I don't remember if I used exactly the same colors. If I didn't, just be aware. Okay, this one is Pat. Okay, so they, those are the two of them individually. This is what they were doing alone, and then the, so these these are their uh, individuals. These are individual abilities, and then we also have their joint ability. But it looks like wow, they're really doing great with the joint. But actually, they don't get to consume all that with the joint ability. Uh, they get to consume half of it. Okay, so we're gonna draw something called the. Uh, well, I don't know if it's officially called this, but I call it this for purposes of explanation. The consumer um, possibility frontier or consumption. Sorry, consumption. This shows what can they consume. So given what they produce, what can they consume? Um, so for purposes of the notes, I just call it a CPF, and this is. We assume they can consume half of joint production. So we assume a second assumption we're making um, that they're doing is when they're married together, they're sharing equally. Now this again may not be the case, but if it's not the case, um, we can analyze that as a separate issue. Okay, but for right now we're assuming that they're sharing equally. Okay, so we need to assume something, and that's where we're going to start. So sharing equally means they share the production they got equally. Okay, so um, this. So what I do is I'm just going to translate this joint PPF, and I'm going to translate half of it. Okay, so this is so this is halfway in between these two. This is 70. That's half of 140, and this is half of 120. So that's 60. Okay, and then uh, half of 100. That's going to be 50, and the point that comes between them where they meet is here. Okay, so it's going to be. So I'm just translating half of every point. So like, for example, this right here is 50, so going out to here. And this right here is 40, because that's half of this 80, OK? So and now I just connect the dots, OK? OK, so that is the joint PPF um, cut into half. Uh, because of the scale of my map, I mean, my drawing, it looks a little bit less than half, but it, just trust me, it's half, OK? So now notice some parts of some things about it. So the middle part is beyond both of there. Uh, PPFs. So this part, uh, this area is a potential gain. So this is potential gain, this zone. I don't mean like the, the area of it represents a gain, but I mean any place in there is something that's uh, impossible for them to do alone. It's outside of both of their uh, PPFs. Okay? And so this represents the, this, this part represents the, the gain they could possibly get. So, um, and we notice another thing. Uh, so this represents a gain. Now, whether or not they, they like it or not depends on what they do. So as long as they like both things, then these people could definitely be better off by being married in terms of consumption than they would alone. If they like the extreme ends, like for example, uh, this person likes this extreme or this person likes this extreme, then they're better off alone because they don't have to share with this other person. Uh, but if they like having both things, then they would be better off um, together. It's just like the trade problem. Uh, they can get more total consumption, each of them, than they could alone. Okay, So this is the idea. The second thing to notice about this is to notice what would happen if they become more similar. Okay, So what happens if they become more similar? So if they become more similar, um, then these lines get straighter. Uh, both of the lines get straighter. And, this zone, and they get further out and closer together, and this potential gain gets smaller. And the most extreme case would be 
um, this last one. And this will be the last thing that I draw. So the last extreme case is here's the PPF. It doesn't matter the slope, um, but here's my PPF for, let's suppose there is this, this is Pat and this is Alex. Okay. And then we put them together into the joint and this is Pat and this is Alex. Okay. So this is the joint and this is the individual. So in this case, there's gonna when we cut the joint in half, it's gonna look exactly like the individual. So there's no uh, production gain without difference and their productive abilities, their opportunity costs. Okay. So and then that's something that's actually one of the key ideas um, that this model is gonna is showing us. And there's a few more that we'll look at in the future, but this is the key ideas. So the more similar they become, the less gain there is in this model. In this type of gain of specialization, okay, and that's kind of um, that, that that kind of gets us to the final point um, for now at least. And that final point is this model kind of points out why marriage um, was so strong in history and why it's uh, as an institution becoming a little bit less important. When I say less important, I mean that people are getting married later and people are choosing not to marry, right? And so it's not quite as essential. Um, there was a time in history when the majority of people married. Um, fairly young and stayed married for most of their lives. And that was partly because this institution was sort of essential to their, not just uh, cultural lives, but also to their economic lives. And it's um, this production change means marriage is to some extent becoming a little less essential to people, at least to their economic lives. So um, when we look back at this PPF right here, two people are very different. There's a big potential gain, strong incentive to get married, right? When we come down here, people are totally the same no potential gain now there's other types of gains for marriage but none of this type of gain and it greatly reduces the incentive to get married and it also reduces the need to get married uh, because the potential gain in terms of production may not be as big as it was in the past right when when um when, when men and women were very different from one another um, because they were uh Part, we'll, we'll talk about that in, in a later section, um, but when they were very different from other in terms of their skills, abilities um, to earn in the market, uh, then it made marriage much, much more necessary than it is today. Now, well, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing that men and women have become more similar in their skills, uh, abilities, backgrounds, uh, everything else. Um, not definitely not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm saying it, it has reduced the necessity of marriage right um, to some extent and we would expect that to result in later marriage and uh, less people getting married so um, in in the future class discussions we'll discuss the advantages of uh, other advantages of getting married we'll discuss the the pros and cons of um, this specialization and we'll, we'll do a little bit more so this is just kind of a first look uh, hope that makes sense um, i'll put some practice problems online for you to try this stuff